Electric vehicles have gained immense popularity in recent years as people have become more environmentally conscious. However, despite their many claimed benefits, there are still some major issues that need to be addressed. One of these is the high cost of battery replacement, which is leading to higher insurance premiums and damaging of the environment. The main problem with electric vehicle batteries is that they are proprietary systems that are difficult and expensive to repair. This means that even minor faults can render the battery unusable, which is causing insurers to scrap EVs with only minor faults. As a result, the price of insuring electric vehicles is skyrocketing, with some sources reporting that it can cost up to 27% more than that of a combustion engine vehicle. To address this issue, insurers are calling on automakers to make it easier to access data and repair battery packs. Some automakers, such as GM, Ford and Nissan, have responded by developing ways to make repairs possible. GM, for example, has engineered its latest Altium batteries to be repaired at the modular level, making them significantly less expensive than replacing the entire battery pack. They also allow third-party access to battery data. However, not all automakers are as committed to this approach. Tesla, for example, is investing in a new battery technology with larger cells that are glued into the pack, which is making repairs virtually impossible. The high cost of battery replacement and the resulting increase in insurance premiums are not the only issue that electric vehicle owners are facing. The batteries themselves are also the most carbon intensive part of the vehicles, which means that if they are not properly disposed of, they can have a significant negative impact on the environment. This is especially true if the battery is discarded early in the vehicle's life, as this means that the environmental benefit of the vehicle will not be fully realized. You see, when producing an electric vehicle, you are doing some serious damage to the environment. EVs only become greener than internal combustion engine powered vehicles after they have been driven for quite a while. And this is only true if the electricity used to charge said EV was made from renewables, which most of the time isn't the case. Now to address this issue, automakers need to try and make it easier to repair and recycle electric vehicle batteries. This will not only reduce the cost of ownership, but also help to minimize the environmental impact of these vehicles. In addition, policymakers need to incentivize the development of more sustainable battery technologies that are easier to repair and recycle. Or another option is instead of yelling from mountaintops how amazing and great EVs are, make people aware of the negatives. Batteries are super expensive, they don't last forever. The batteries are made from rare resources, which we only have a limited supply of. Recycling said batteries uses a lot of energy, which again is not good for the environment. Manufacturing of the battery systems have a detrimental effect on the environment, including but not limited to deforestation, greenhouse gas emissions. The plants also emit large amounts of chemicals, heavy metals and other toxins into the environment which can cause serious health problems for those living in the surrounding areas. We as a people need to realize that EVs are just a band-aid, not the solution, and that we have to continue working hard and developing new technologies that actually have a positive effect on our planet. Going into a carbon neutral future is impossible just using EVs. And there are other options. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go through my channel. I talk about all of these things a hell of a lot. Just go through it. Um, you will find some hydrogen technology stuff littered in there. Yeah. In conclusion, while electric vehicles offer some benefits, there are still some significant challenges that need to be addressed for us to call them green or environmentally friendly. But what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I know I've, I'm going to have a few people that disagree, uh, but I also know that there's a lot of people that do know about all of these negatives and that will agree with what I'm saying. Let me know down below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll like a lot of my other stuff. So just go through it. See if there's something else you'd like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.